So I will go again through the linear advanced settings for the Merlin on the Ender 3 v3 SE because in the previous video I didn't set it up correctly. So for example in Orca Slicer you have to go to Calibration, Pressure Advanced and choose PA Tower, PA Line or PA Pattern. PA Line looks like this after you slice it. It will show you the values that it was used. For the PA tower, I printed it, but it doesn't have any notes, so you don't really know what to choose, unfortunately. And for the PA pattern, it's basically the same thing. After you slice it, it will more or less be the same. So I did a couple of tests. Firstly, I, I tried to... So I, I'm not even sure how to explain. Basically, you have to activate it from uh, Orca. You have to go here in the filament and enable it because it's not already enabled in Merlin. And here you can choose the value. I choose firstly 0.06 because I did that test and I, as you can see here, I, I think 0 0.06 is the best one. And I did a test and it wasn't as expected. So that's why I decided to do a couple more tests. So as you can see, after slicing this takes like 11 minutes or so, I printed a lot of them. So basically for each one of the settings and also here you can see where the setting should be started, where the filament starts, the filament starts to code, not where I, I used it in the previous video. So this you, uh, here you should have the value. So I did a couple of tests. I changed the, the value each time. So I started with 0.07, I think, uh, and went down to 0.01, as you can see here, and I'll put on the screen, uh, so this is our, all the, these are all the results. I made another test, um, so yeah, all of them look horrible. I'm not sure. I, I did another test here and it seems that 0 0.0102 looks okay, let's say, but I don't know. You have to invest a lot of time in it. So I think it's better, much simpler to go with Clipper if you want to use linear advanced. Let's do one last test because I'm curious. So Let's do the first one with 0. Point I, 0 0.01 it was? Oh no, I, I think it was 0 0.1 something, 1.1. One, one. Yeah, let's try 0 0.11. This should be okay as per the test that we did before. So this was the, the closest one, 0 0.1 was the closest one, so let's go with 0 0.11. And we will see some improvements, this is the last test that I will do. And also I want to try this, so let's save another one. And check the enable adaptive pressure advance. Let's see. And this pressure advance for all that hangs. See if it, there is a noticeable difference. And this will be the last test. Okay, as you can see, this is with 0 0.11. It looks okay. It looks good. It, it, it's a good one. And this is with enabling the, the other two options. And it's, I don't know. Not as good. I mean, it is, but I, I, I prefer this one with 0.11. So 
I think I will go with 0.11 from now on. It looks pretty much as I want. So that was a quick note. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Cheers.